Hi, this is OOA and this is the Proverbs series with OOA and today we're going to be having episode 4 and our scripture shall be taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 10 which says that the righteous care for the need of their animals but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. Hmm. Ponder on that scripture and you know I want to link this scripture to um to, to our daily lives and the realities around us you know there are these kind of people that the things that they give to people out of the magnanimity magnanimity of their hearts are some of the things that they cannot use they give people like torn clothes and they give people like maybe foods that um rats have eaten out of like foods that have been that are almost getting poisoned or bad those are the things that they give to people they give people shoes that are condemned and they see it as an act of kindness. And this is why the Bible says that the righteous care for the need of their animals, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. And you know, I think some of these people were raised like this and these are the things that they watched their parents do, you know, when they have parents who treat outsiders who are living in their home in a very terrible manner. They, they eat at the dining table with their children and husband. But the people living in their house, most especially their house helps, they cannot stay in the, they cannot eat on the dining table. They have to go and eat in the kitchen. Um, they treat their house selves like animals, you know. And, you know, the Bible is even telling us that we should not, you know, the righteous are supposed to even treat their animals kindly. And so, you will know, in this holiness thing, we have a long way to go. And in this part of the world where I live in, I see the way, let's even look at it literally now. Let, let's look, look at that scripture literally. I see the way the people around here treat their animals. They buy good foods for their animals. They wear clothing for their animals. And they treat their animals like humans. So, I'm comparing that with the literary um, um, interpretation of the scripture and you know compared to where we're coming from of course people are changing now people buy animal foods and all that but there are still people that treat their animals callously as if they they don't want them or as if they are a burden they kick them around they give them poison foods and all that but on the other hand let's also link it to humans these same people who treat animals like trash also treat the people who are not their blood like you know like 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 trash they give people, they have some of the clothes that they will give you out of the joy of their heart. Like, oh, I have some things for you. And when you open those clothing, you're going to see that some of them are torn. Some of them are old, like old. And if you wash them once, they're going to tear into shreds. They give people maybe bread that rat or um, cockroach, cockroach has eaten out of it. Those are the things that they can give to people. They can never give people things that are still good or that are fairly used. It has to be condemned to the point that it's already awful. That's the, the only time that they can give you things. And the Bible forbids this kind of attitude. If you were raised like this, it is high time for you to begin to pray that the Lord helps you to treat people well, to treat people like humans, to treat people right, to treat people kindly, as in not just, you know, what you describe as kindness, but as kindness, as what is expected of being kind. And, you know, that is how you begin to treat people. Pray that the Lord helps you. Sometimes you might not see it as something that is wrong just because of the way you were raised. But begin to change your ways after watching this video. I want you to begin to change your ways. And I want you to ask the Lord to help you to nurture people, to love people, to give to people out of the out just exactly the way the Lord wants you to give to them. Not giving people things that are condemned and things that are supposed to be dumped in the pit. This is not the ideal way that the Lord expects us to treat ourselves or treat our neighbors. Give people, you know, things that are good, things that are worthy, things that are useful, things that they will use or they will eat and they will pray for you from the, the bottom of their heart. Those are the things that are expected to be given to people. The things that you can't use or the things that are condemned or what you are going to personally trash if somebody give, gives it to you. Don't try to give it to another person. It's not godly and God does not expect us to treat the less privileged or the poor people around us that way. I hope you have been impacted. If this uh, episode blesses you, please share with someone who can also be blessed so that they can learn how to treat people well and not see the... Because sometimes they act... Some of the things that they call kindness is actually cruel. It's not human. It's subhuman. And, you know, we have to do better and, um, you know, unlearn and relearn some things in this our journey of Christianity. May the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Until next week when I bring another scripture your way, take good care of yourself. Bye.